Hello and welcome to the weekly Kashmir University Video Digest Quest. First a look at the highlights. HRD Ministry inaugurates two labs in Botany Department. Now the details with your host Ahlam Mushtaq. The Human Resource Development Minister, Ms. Smriti Irani, inaugurated two state-of-the-art laboratories through a video conferencing from New Delhi. University of Kashmir joins us today and I would like to congratulate the team there for we shall have two upgraded state-of-the-art labs in the Department of Botany and nine major labs in university today will be dedicated to researchers at a cost of 4.64 crores. The two research laboratories at the Department of Botany have been upgraded in tune with the international standards under Rashtriya Uchchatar Shiksha Abhiyan. Inaugurating the two laboratories online, HRD Minister said that her ministry is always there to provide support to higher learning institutions. Minister of Education Mr. Naeem Akhtar, while interacting with the MHRD, informed her that the university has started supplementary shift to augment students and therefore will help in furthering the gross enrollment ratio. The university has taken a very much needed lead in this. They have started this year with evening classes and 1500 students have already been registered and classes have already started. So I think that's what we are going to replicate in the city universities, the cluster universities that we are having in uh, Jammu and Srinagar. On the occasion, HRD minister also interacted with research scholars and responded to their queries regarding fellowships and other issues. I would uh, want to ask that what are the steps taken by uh, MHRD to ensure that the scholarships are released in uh, this uh, given time. Earlier, students of uh, Jammu and Kashmir were required to upload their certified documents, which included joining reports, supervisors, certification, etc. And UGC has now enabled an online certification of these documents. I'm sure which also helps the students engage faster with the regulator in terms of uh, getting their views in time. Now I want to know what interventions are being made by the MHRD ministry to promote interest in the field of science. Under Rashtri Avishkar Abhiyan, we have initiated an engagement between institutions of higher learning and the school system, where universities and institutions like even IITs adopt the training and teaching practices in schools, have an increased engagement with students of schools so that their learning outcomes in terms of science and maths are enhanced. Later, speaking to the Quest team, senior professor of the university, Professor Zafar Ahmad Rishi, said that the RUSA program is strategic funding for higher education meant to improve the quality of research. He said that they have already finished work on two laboratories and work on other seven labs is in process, which will help to uplift the research work. In the University of Kashmir, it was thought at that time to prioritize upgradation of the research labs the reason being that the labs which were established way back in 60s were not upgraded till date and consequently we thought that it is a opportune time for us to say prioritize lab upgradation under RUSA and it is in this backdrop that two labs have been upgraded out of nine work on the other seven labs is in progress and we believe that as a result of this upgradation not only the ambience of the labs has improved the the city of the scholars in the labs has also increased tremendously and then the facilities have also improved and we hope and expect that as a result of this lab upgradation our quality of work is all research work is also going to improve we will be more inclined to invite researchers from both within as well as abroad to our labs why because we have now better facilities professor rishi said that under the rusa Funds are pre-allotted for various activities. The University of Kashmir has qualified for those 20 crores and 20 crores stand sanctioned to the University of Kashmir for infrastructure development. Now this infrastructure development has to take place in the institution in terms of upgradation of labs, 
in terms of upgradation of classrooms for enhancing internet facility increasing the toilet and other facilities washroom facilities for the students creating i mean having hostel facilities for the students upgrading library facilities all these are included within the rusa and then the allocation is predefined he said that they have already finished work on two laboratories and work on other seven labs is in process which will help to uplift the research work in university of kashmir it was thought at that time to prioritize upgradation of the research labs the reason being that the labs which were established way back in 60s were not upgraded till date and consequently we thought that it is a opportune time for us to say prioritize lab upgradation under rusa and it is in this backdrop that two labs have been upgraded out of nine work on the other seven labs is in progress and we believe that as a result of this upgradation not only the ambience of the labs has improved the the city of the scholars in the labs has also increased tremendously and then the facilities have also improved and we hope and expect that as a result of this lab upgradation our quality of work is also research work is also going to improve we will be more inclined to invite researchers from both within as well as abroad to our labs why because we have no better facilities professor rishi said that under the rusa funds are pre allotted for various activities the university of kashmir has qualified for those 20 crores and 20 crores stand sanctioned to the university of kashmir for infrastructure development now this infrastructure development has to take place in the institution in terms of upgradation of labs in terms of upgradation of classrooms for enhancing internet facility increasing the toilet and other facilities washroom facilities for the students creating i mean having hostel facilities for the students upgrading library facilities all these are included within the rusa and then the allocation is predefined